But today, as I said, we're taking a, t- a T.O., a timeout, baby, and it's Ask on Almost Anything. We've got so many questions. There's no way we're ever going to get to all of them. But we're going to ask all of you each and every opportunity you have to make sure you post those questions, especially on Twitter. Uh, that's where we go to grab those and use that hashtag, Ask Arn. That's what we're looking for. We'll collect them up, and we're going to do this each and every month uh, this year. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Started. And uh, I think we're going to start with my buddy, uh, Brad Stanton. Arn, Brad owns one of those horseman jackets. And he says, uh, did you like Brian Pillman better as the loose cannon or flying Brian? Did I like him better? Yeah. Which, I, one, I which version think, of him did you like better? Yeah, I guess? Well, you didn't know what you had with the loose cannon. And that was everybody backstage, too. So. That was one of the first times I actually saw a, a guy hold his own destiny in his hands and actually had the uh, carte blanche to push the envelope and just go and go off whenever he felt like it. And I can tell you, Kevin Sullivan, myself, I think everybody pretty much that worked for the company were wondering, is this does this guy just screwing with everybody and getting away with it or what's going on here at least with bright flying brian you knew what you had and maybe that's the reason we're still talking about it today about yeah. the loose cannon because anybody that says they knew a hundred percent full of shit yeah, no, that's without a doubt. You just never knew what he was going to do or say, but that's what made it compelling TV every time he came on the screen. You just didn't know what he was going to do or say. Uh, but, man, Flying Brian kind of, that's where we were introduced to him. That's where the Def Leppard music and the the Bengal tights and him doing things we'd never seen before. And uh, so that resonates uh, with me as a fan back in those days. The, the time period we're talking about right now, we walked through 1991, so much of it has been Flying Brian and his introduction in WCW and you know got to remember he virtually came from nowhere that was his first big company so it was our first time seeing him he was brand new he was fresh it was like he was a homegrown uh, WCW star Absolutely. And then you had the relevancy of Jim Ross always making sure we knew about his background in football and and uh, and then his athletic ability.